I'd say that answers the question about reliability, feed issue, and jams. Welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. Came across the crazy, stupid deal that I wanted to share with you. Um, a 223 match upper, 18 inch barrel, 223 wild chamber. Radical firearms, you can find this several different places. Brownells was offering this for $199. They had free shipping and a $15 off. You do the math. That's a pretty sweet deal for an 18 inch stainless steel upper match. The question is, how does it work? When we look at the reviews, there was, there was quite a few complaints, issues with um, failures to cycle. And so what I want to do real quick here, before we even dive into this, is I want to see if this is going to be one of those or if I have any issues. So let's run outside and let's run several different uh, types of ammunition through it, see how it works. I got a BCG here from AIM Surplus. I did quite a while back. We're going to run it through that. And then we don't have issues. Then I'm going to go ahead and continue. I'll mount some optics. And then we're going to test accuracy and everything else. Once I've got that going, then I'm going to try. I've got about oh, three to five different BCGs. We're going to try all the BCGs. And I'm going to try about three to four different lowers. And we're going to really put this through the test to see if we can get any of those issues. If you don't, if we don't have any of those problems and this thing groups great, you know, that's, that's an awesome deal. Enough. Let's get outside and see if this thing cycles. Okay, real quick. I just got some federal black pack, you know, American made brass case, boxer prime. Let's just try it. I don't have any optics on it. All we want to do is just see if it fires. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see if I can hit anything without any kind of optics. No problem there. Let's try some different okay, we'll ammo. Try a little PPU here. Okay, so far so good. I haven't had any issues with this whatsoever. Uh, we'll get back to the review. I gotta say, I kind of like it. Uh, we'll we'll see what happens with. Uh, accuracy and stuff but we're, let's just jump to some tula here steel a ca steel case russian no issues not one single cycle issue whatever um so i don't know if those reviews if you know what they were using for a buffer spring buffer whatever i'm good to go Let's, uh, let's basically back up and kind of start the review over. Okay, so I'm satisfied at this point. I want to keep going forward with the review. You know, another complaint was the forearm was flimsy. Um, I don't know. It seems, seems fine to me. Somebody, I'd read that the edges feel kind of sharp. You know, they're not super smooth, but it's not like you're going to cut yourself. I like it. Um, it feels incredibly light. Uh, the barrel is a narrow contour. It's thinner throughout the midsection than it actually is here. Not the most common um, contour, at least not that I've come across. And I really don't care how it's contoured. Proof's in the pudding. If I get this thing out there and we get tight groups and it cycles, you know, that's a, that's a thumbs up. This is a crazy, stupid deal. So let's go ahead and put some optics on this. Get it zeroed in. Try a bunch of different BCGs in a different lower, and you know there we go. We're going to have all that we need to decide, is this a good deal for us? Okay, before we really get going, what am I going to put for optics on here? I'm going to put a Nikon Buckmaster II with a Warren Quick Detach scope. You know, nothing real expensive, but should do the job adequately. As far as BCGs, I've got one, two, three... Five actually different BCGs that I'm going to run with this. A couple of these. Uh, this one is an APF nickel boron. I also have their, 
Oh, I can't remember what it's called. The diamond-like one, that's my number one BCG. Love that thing. We're going to try that too. Then I've got a JP from a super match that I had. We're going to give that a try. And I don't even remember who made this one. Uh, we're going to give that a try. I'll try a Ruger BCG. And then as far as lowers, I've got, let's see, Bushmaster, Ruger, I got a couple polymers we're going to try. We're going to try all these to see if we can come up with any issues or, you know, failures to eject or feed or anything like that. And then test accuracy. If you like this review, if you follow Beyond Seclusion and you're interested in supporting us, I have online classes that I teach. They have a 30-day money-back, 100% guarantee finances, how to save money in ways that you've never thought of, how to do better in college, in study skills, high school, and then also a course that has continuing ed for first responders, law enforcement, firefighters, all that. Got some new swag as well. Got some super cool hats. I love this new design. Okay, all this is on our web page. We've got an Amazon store where I find awesome deals on Amazon, usually the lowest prices. I've got a book that I published. This is great on study skills. High school students, if you've got kids, if you know anybody in high school or college, this is awesome. Same with the, the course. Check out our web page. I've got crazy stupid deals there. Some of the best prices that I find and people say, you know, where did you get 308 ammo for, you know, six bucks a box, seven bucks a box. I post all these on there. If you haven't checked out our webpage, you want to do that. If you haven't checked us out on Facebook, check us out on Facebook, like. Anyway, thanks for your support. So I got it zeroed in at 50 yards using 55 grain full metal jacket, 5.56. Really didn't seem to like uh, either that bullet or the weight of that, which, you know, is not surprising. It's a one in seven twist. They, they were bigger than I thought. Anyway, we're, we're on paper down there at 100 yards. Right now I'm using PPU here, some match. I've ran through a couple of different Hornady and stuff. Um, you know, the groups are so-so. I'm seasoning it. Let's, uh, let's just keep going here and see when how, how it goes. I'm gonna wait five minutes so we have consistency, take it inside, and then we'll try another three rounds, and then we're gonna cycle through different ammo. Now I'm gonna try some IMI 69 grain Sierra hollow point boat tail match, 556. Five, Let's give this a try. I had great luck with this in the past. That grouped a lot better. It was way off to zero, it was about five inches high, but that was a nice group. Okay, so I'm still working on the groups in the accuracy. I'm, I'm getting kind of some mixed results. I think the barrel just needs breaking in. I just need to get some rounds through it. And rather than going through the match and seeing the groups change, I just want to try, uh, we can test our reliability here. I got a echo trigger in here. We'll just have a little fun. We'll get some ammo down there and at the same time, double check reliability. That was just a failure to feed. I'd say that answered the question of uh, reliability for the most part. So we dumped some ammo through it, got some rounds down, breaking in the barrel a little bit. Yesterday it seemed to like the IMI, so this morning I want to start off with the IMI and see what kind of groups we get. Those weren't the best. It was out of a clean barrel. Let's wait, let it sit and then we'll do some more. The groups aren't, they're not what I want. They're not, uh, I'm not happy with them. 
I want to just quick rule out the scope. So I grabbed the scope off my tack driver, put it on here. It's not going to be zeroed, but all I want to check is the groups. We'll see if that makes any difference. Going to try again here, dope the scope a little bit just to get us on target better. But so far, pretty much getting the same spread and type of groups, even with the different optic and beans that the groups are almost exactly the same. It's, it's telling me that it's not the optic, but we'll try a couple other different brands here and weights of bullets. Well, that was a pretty tight group. Let's continue. Okay, my groups are getting tighter, so what I want to do is I want to just break in the barrel more and get some more ammo down through it. So I figured let's just check out the BCGs. Let's pop in this APF nickel uh, boride. Here's another one. I don't even remember where I got this or who made it. This is a JP, came with my super match. If any of them, that one's going to be the most fickle. That would be all five BCGs. Still haven't had an issue. Let's go through and test some of the lowers. Plum Crazy Polymer Lower. Ruger 556 lower with a custom trigger. That is all of the lowers. Um, Palmetto State Arms Plum Crazy Ruger Bushmaster. I haven't had any of the issues that I read about in the reviews. I'm not saying that those folks didn't have them but I have not been able to recreate them with ammo, BCGs, or lowers. The only thing right now that I'm trying to get is to shrink down those groups, and I think breaking in the barrel seems to be improving that. You know, yesterday was too much fun. Let's just uh, get some more rounds through this, really break in this barrel, and then get back to our accuracy test. I'd say that answers the question about reliability, feed issue, and jams. So we did the ammo dump. I had to wait a while for the barrel to cool down. Did a really good cleaning. I feel confident now that the barrel is seasoned and is starting to break in. So I took it out and I tried some IMI. And you can see that the group had shrunk. And I'm sorry, that was before that last ammo dump with the drum. And then I switched to, to Hornady 75 grain hollow point bow tail match. And the groups were very satisfying to me. They, they shrunk way down. You know, is that, you know, top of the line? No, but considering we're still in the break-in process around 100 rounds, I find that, I find that great. I'm very satisfied. For what I paid for this upper, I'm extremely satisfied. I switched out BCGs, lowers, ammo. I had, out of all that, I had one jam. I was using a cheap polymer mag, a no-name brand, and I had one failure to feed. It kind of got stuck on the feed ramp. Other than that, not a single issue. This is my third Radical Firearms upper. I started off with a 300 blackout and then a 762 by 39 and now this, I haven't had a single issue with any of them. So I've reached out to Radical Firearms several times, never got a response. Um, I have no idea what their customer service is. I think, I think you can't go wrong, um, you know, unless I find out that the, the customer service is really bad. You know, uh, an upper, a gun is a machine, and you can get one that doesn't function right. But so far, 
I've had outstanding luck and I highly recommend this deal. Anyway, hopefully you found this helpful. Be sure to like, comment, and sub Radical Firearms. Reach out. I'd like to do some more reviews on some of your stuff. Don't forget to check out our webpage, Twitter, Facebook. This is where I put these crazy, stupid deals. And this was a crazy, stupid deal. And it worked out awesome.